our feelings, also our, our relatives, and everything that we consider that belong to us. But really, when we analyze our life, our history, how do we come, how do we go from the, from, from the earth, it's very interesting to see that we arrive only with the physical body, and we arrive with all the information and all the experience that we used to have before. And the same when we, when we depart from here. This is a very nice story uh, about our life, about the meaning of life, that whose name is Kabbalah. Uh, many years ago, it was so hard to speak about this, uh, this esoteric science. In this moment, doesn't is, is not more any esoteric, because you have in internet, you have in the library, in the bookstore, any kind of books speaking about the Kabbalah. This is a very interesting and also very deep. Uh, when we speak about the Kabbalah, when we write like this with the key, uh, K, uh, K, K, K. with K, it is the Kabbalah that we found in, in, uh, in books that is, uh, you can read. Uh, 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 but, but this is another kind of Kabbalah with we uh, write with la uh, como se dice la Q? Q. With Q. Q. With Q. And that I'm is... I'm sorry, that's the K. Uh, the, the, the Q, the Q uh, is the, the name of the Kabbalah that is transmitted only uh, from master to the disciple. You cannot found in, in books and they don't write that kind of knowledge. Then there is, a, to arrive to that kind of knowledge, the people have, before to study the traditional Kabbalah, have to have some special disciplines to understand the meaning. Because usually, when we, uh, when we use the reason, we use the duality to understand and also to express everything. For instance, when I speak, in I, in I, if I say, oh, you understand because automatic you uh, relate with down. If I say white, immediately you relate with black. Then everything is, re is related with the duality. But to study uh, deeper the Kabbalah, we have to go in the unity. And that starts to have problem to us because we don't have the habit to receive and also to transmit in unity. Uh, when, uh, when we speak, when we walk, you cannot walk if you don't have the, the, the wall to opposite you, if you don't have the floor to opposite of you. It's the same, the same uh, when we speak, the same when we uh, thinking, when our feeling always support in something that is opposite. There is a moment that the duality doesn't work anymore and you have to start to work, to, to work in unity. And with that, you don't use you don't use anymore the traditional language. Then you start to use mandalas, symbols, and the Kabbalah, the basis of the Kabbalah has ten sephirot. The sephira, uh, each sephira contains a lot of knowledge to demonstrate that each one of them belongs to the tree, the tree of life. When we uh, in the tradition, in, in the uh, Kabbalah traditional, in the in the Torah, they say that when we were outside of the heaven, is because Adam and Eve and Eve eat from the tree of the good and bad, the good of the uh, the the tree of the science, the tree the tree of the science represented the good and the bad, but when we uh, left from the paradise is, is because God doesn't want that we eat from the tree of life. Then he put two archangels in front of the heaven, uh, two guardians, uh, to wait us to return it. 
but we have to return it after we eat from that uh, tree of life. And that tree of life not is only um, to eat the physical things, to eat the fruit of this uh, tree of life represented how uh, do we assimilate all the experience in our life? Uh, what experience? Everything that you are living. Uh, somebody arrived to the earth and uh, maybe arrived and the parents doesn't like him, abandon him, and maybe other people take it. Uh, otherwise, maybe you have two years old and your parents uh, divorce it and you have any kind of problem. Any history that we have in our life represented lesson that we need to assimilate. Maybe many times bother to us how the things happen. And when we have that kind of abandon, uh, it takes not only months, not only years, maybe lives to assimilate uh, that kind of lesson. And yesterday we were speaking that everything is saving. Nature saves everything that happened. The present is going to be the cause of the future. What we are doing now is going to be the cause of the future. When we analyze all of those things and we are conscient, then we take more of more care what we are going to do and how we are going to do all of those things, how we are going to communicate, how we are going to assimilate the lesson that we have. Then, when we see here in the introduction of the Kabbalah, uh, many, many centuries ago was hermetic. Uh, uh, the revelation and the revolution and the importance of, of the experience was intimate and direct in the spiritual in the spiritual path. The knowledge is transmitted with secret techniques, uh, with meditation, with metaphors, with symbols, with esoteric symbols. The Torah is the Pentateuch. The Pentateuch contain, contains the five, uh, the five books of, of Moses, and those five uh, five books representing the basis of the Kabbalah. Uh, in the Kabbalah, in, in the mystic Judaism, the significance, the, the meaning is very deep. Uh, uh, in the Theosophy, uh, the Theosophy intends to discover the mystery of life, the representation of, law, of, of God, and that relation is uh, related with the creation of the human beings. Then, before, in many studies, we will study that uh, scientific, uh, nothing is created, nothing is finished, everything is transformed. It's the same when we read the Bible, uh, when we say the first verses of the Bible, who says Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim beet Haaris? Those Hebrew words represented a, a very important a, a, a schema. That schema, that symbol, represented not the creation, the transformation. When you say Bereshit, who has two words in Hebrew, bara shesh. When you skip one letter in Hebrew, it changes the translation from creation to emanation. And it's very different, emanation, that creation. Emanara means, emanation means that already exists and it only coming here. It's very interesting to see now the new uh, experiments, the new uh, uh, research that they are doing uh, with, the, uh, with the woman when they became pregnant uh, in, the, in the research that they are doing, they see that the most of the woman who became pregnant, they have more than one, uh, uh, more than one egg inside of his uterus. The same as the animals. 
then the fetus who uh, who who's, uh, uh, who who born is the fetus who is stronger. Mm -hmm. It means that assimilate all the food from the mother, and the other one also assimilate the other fetus. The people who used to be left surdos, left, left. Yeah. who are left, yeah. uh, is uh, ninety-five percent that he used to have another twin in the uterus of the mother. And sometimes you have more and uh, maybe born two, maybe born only one. But it's very interesting to see that the, the people were fighting inside of the uterus to arrive to the land. And who is uh, the fetus who arrived? The, the one who is uh, stronger. But when we go deeper <coughs> uh, of the information, how do we arrive? Uh, before, in other, in other studies that we have with, before, we were study that in the astral plan, that is the place that we stay, uh, waiting the moment to come back to the Earth, uh, we are looking for a place to come back. And the only, the only, uh, uh, the only place to come is using the uterus of the mother. Otherwise, we cannot arrive. You cannot arrive if you, if you don't use the uterus of the woman. Then in the astral plan, we are fighting. As he's saying that we are fighting in the physical step to arrive here. The fetus who, uh, that uh, is assimilated for the other one have to look for another place to arrive. Otherwise, they cannot, they cannot arrive. Uh, then I was telling you that uh, now it's very easy to see how much memory can we keep in one memory card, in one hard disk. And f in, in, with that, it's easy to understand that everything that we did, we keep it in our memory. And when we died, even if we don't have any more the brain, all of those memory stay in the uh, hard disk. In the Akashic, in the Akashic plan, that in the Akashic uh, levels, that is representation of the hard disk of the of nature. Then, even if the information is in the hard disk altogether, uh, you can choose the unity of each one of this information. The same happened to us. This information in the hard disk of nature is saving mm -hmm. and when we come back we have mm -hmm. all of those information in each one of ourselves in our body then when the uh, gen genetic engineering analyze uh, each one of the information of our body they discover that we have million and million of information you see how many uh, centuries we lost those uh, particulars uh, of the um, of, uh, of the genetic from from the lady when the baby born the cordon the umbilical cordon has a very important information and now everyone is saving that cordon because it's possible to give you another opportunity to recover from any sickness and also to recover for from uh, 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 some organs that doesn't work in a good condition. But how much time we didn't realize that those cells are uh, specific, uh, so important to develop, to develop ourselves. Then uh, you, are, you are looking that now the new medicine is working, uh, how our brain our brain, how is his behavior? And for instance, if uh, if you want to lose weight, then you have to work for a certain time that your brain uh, change the assimilation of your physical body and also. Keep